Hey guys, this is Kirsten with Red Dot Form, and today I'm going to be showing you the cake bag by Oberworth. Over the last few years, Oberworth has become quite popular among Leica photographers, and fittingly so. Just like Leica, Oberworth bags are made entirely by hand in Germany. The Kate here, along with the William Messenger bag, are the latest additions to the Oberworth line. They just started shipping in late 2016. It's easy to say the Kate has been one of the most well-received women-specific camera bags I've seen yet. And it's not surprising. The Kate is both designed and manufactured by women, specifically for women. It takes into consideration all the day-to-day -day needs of working women photographers. Before I dive into the design of the bag, let's take a quick look at the materials. Oberworth makes a point to use quality materials that are sustainably manufactured. It's one of their core philosophies that they built their company on. The Kate really diverges from Oberworth's standard, more rigid construction. Instead of the smooth, hard leather they typically use for their bags, the Kate is made of an incredibly soft, tumbled cowhide. I have it here in black, but it comes in a variety of different colors, such as cognac, dark brown, navy, and gray, just to name a few. I've actually been carrying around this bag for about six months now, and you can see it wears quite nicely. Because the leather is textured, there are no visible marks or scratches. Take note of the stitching here too. It's very even and there are no frays. Every stitch is where it should be. The hardware is made out of high quality chrome brass. You can see here, after months of use, it has some visible wear, but overall it looks pretty darn good. So let's talk about the design of the bag itself. To do this, I'm actually going to take everything out and then guide you through as I put it back together. So I've taken everything out of the bag and now we can see exactly what comes with the cape bag. We have an adjustable cotton shoulder strap. We have a fixed length leather shoulder strap. We have a key wallet. We have a clutch. We have the camera insert. And of course we have the bag itself. So let's take a look at the bag itself. Without the insert, you can really see how soft the leather is. The bag has a simple yet classic design. On one side, we have a single clasp closure. This is a signature feature on all Oberworth bags. It's easy to open and close, yet it's still secure. On the other side, we have a large padded zippered pocket. This is great for an iPad or a notebook. The inside compartment of the Kate can fit up to a 13 inch laptop. I'm actually able to fit my 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro in here. So let's take a look at the inside of the bag. And to do this, I'm actually going to turn the bag inside out so you can get a better view of the pockets. I love that I'm able to do this. It makes cleaning and caring for the bag really easy. So now that we have the bag inside out, we'll notice several pockets. On this side, we have a cell phone pocket. It can fit large phones such as this iPhone 6S Plus. Here, we have a zippered pocket. I often use this for personal items such as lip gloss, jewelry, hand sanitizer. On the other side, we have two elastic rim pockets. These are great for bulkier items such as small notebooks, chargers, jump drives, even external hard drives. And of course, we have a pen holder. I often use the Kate just like this. If I'm running errands or going out to dinner and I don't want to bring my camera. Rather than switching to a different bag, I'll just remove the insert from the Kate. Without the insert, the Kate wraps nicely around my hip and makes for an incredibly comfortable and low profile purse. So moving on, let's talk about the removable camera insert. It's made of Cordura. Cordura is a great fabric for camera bags. It's oil, water, and dirt resistant. So if you do get caught in the rain, you can be rest assured your camera is safe inside the insert. The insert comes with two air-filled dividers. I generally carry a Leica Q as well as a Leica M with me. The insert fits both of these perfectly. I really like these cotton neck straps by Arta de Mano. They wrap nicely around the lens and don't take up any room within the insert. So after we have both cameras in here, we still have a little room left over. 
You can use this for a flash if you're using one, or you can use it to store chargers. Keep in mind, you do still have the elastic pockets within the main compartment of the bag that you can use for chargers. That would leave the insert open for more delicate items, such as lenses. If you're using one of these back-to-back -back caps like I'm using, you can actually fit up to two extra lenses in the insert. If I leave the Q at home and I'm shooting with just the M, I can fit a body with up to five lenses. If I remove the dividers entirely, I can actually fit the Leica SL with a lens attached, such as the 24-90 or the 50mm Sumilux. The insert is really quite cleverly designed. One of my favorite signature Oberworth features is these little SD card pockets. You'll find these on every Oberworth photo insert. It's such a simple little feature, but it makes finding and switching SD cards infinitely quicker. I always keep two cards here ready to go. If we look at the side of the insert, we'll find a shallow little hidden pocket. I actually had no idea this was here for the first couple weeks of using it, but now that I do know it exists, I almost always keep an extra battery here. You'll notice on the insert, there are two Velcro flaps, as well as a strip of Velcro on the bottom and a piece of Velcro on top. The flaps are self-explanatory. They keep the insert closed and your gear protected. The bottom piece lines up with another piece of Velcro inside the bag and keeps the insert from moving around. The top piece of Velcro is actually quite genius, and I'm gonna put the insert back into the bag to show you how that works. Now that I have the insert back in the bag, you'll notice the Velcro on the top of the insert corresponds with the patch of Velcro in the actual bag. This is to keep the insert flap open while shooting. Again, a simple feature, but it makes a world of difference. If you're shooting and changing lenses frequently, it's nice to be able to reach into the bag and access your gear without having to open the insert every time. Along with the removable insert, the Kate also comes with a clutch and a key wallet. I use the clutch as my wallet. This is where I keep my IDs, credit cards, and cash. If I'm grabbing a bite to eat with friends and I don't want to carry a shoulder bag, oftentimes I'll just take the clutch and go. The clutch features a nice divider, so I can keep my phone on one side and my cash and cards on the other. The clutch comes with its own strap, which can be configured a couple different ways. I can clip both ends to one side, like here, and use it as a wrist strap, or I can clip each end to opposite sides and hold it more like a traditional purse. Alternatively, I can remove the strap entirely. The key wallet is something I never thought I needed, but now I can't live without. Anytime you're carrying your keys and camera gear together, you have to be careful not to let your keys come in contact with your gear. It's nice to have a dedicated key wallet that protects the contents of your bag from your keys. Having the key wallet also makes it easier to find your keys. It attaches to a dedicated clip within the bag so you always know where to find them. The Kate comes with two adjustable carrying straps, a fixed length leather strap and an adjustable cotton strap. The cotton strap is a new design with the Kate and William. Previous Oberworth bags featured straps made out of a combination of leather and Cordura. Personally, I like the switch to cotton. It's flexible and light, yet still comfortable and strong enough to carry a complete camera kit. The adjustable cotton strap is ideal if you're going to be carrying the Kate crossbody. At its shortest, it measures 25 inches, and at its longest, it measures 50 inches. The short leather strap which measures about 15 inches, is less bulky and great if you want to carry the bag off one shoulder like a tote. Prior to the Kate, I never really used a camera bag. I often found myself throwing my camera into a regular purse, which wasn't exactly ideal. There just wasn't a stylish, well-made option out there that worked for both my camera equipment and my everyday stuff. What I love about the Kate is its everyday elegance and versatility. It plays the role of the functional camera bag, the smart business tote, 
and the classic woman's carry-all. The Kate and full line of Oboworth bags are available for purchase at Leica Store Miami. Links are in the description below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.